Here we're going to try the word could. Now this word gives us tons of possibilities, specifically because the L makes such good intersections. We got three or two forks, basically. The C gives us a fork, and the O and the U allow us to connect in so many ways on the sides that we're going to have tons of possibilities. So let's start by adding our C. Well, so we could go off of here with the O, put the U inside the O. We could put the L there, we could put the D there. We could do any kinds of variations of this, put the D there. We can even try putting it all into the O, U, L. When you use the L inside of a character, there's no need for the word line anymore. And then D. Now the D, it can be written like so, but it has to break through all sides. Or, or do usually it breaks through all sides. You can go like so. By default, this is assumed to be a D. If you were to add a little dash on the bottom, it would become an H. Or if you add a dash on the top, it just reconfirms that it's a D. So there's another version of could. Um, let's not go for the big round shape. Let's go for the stocky kind of... Almost looks like hangman, actually, if we make the D a little shorter. Make, put that U inside the O, and I bet we got a cool little hangman. I don't know why that symbolizes could, but it could. <laughs> Interesting. And then we could, of course, do vi many variations on that again. We could have the O here, C there, and then the U could be on the side, L, D. Not a huge fan of that way. Looks a little better that way. Anyways, as you can see, we've got tons of options. I tend to prefer this one. It's faster to write. Down, across, circle, triangle, double dash, cut.